Hello everyone, Kundes here, and welcome to another episode of this Crusader Kings 2 Let's Play of Sparta. Which, at this point, is inaccurate since Sparta has been taken over by Arabs. And therefore, all we have left is this tiny county here that isn't even related remotely to Sparta. Hopefully, however, our new objective for this game is to reclaim our homeland. So we should try to survive and once again try to scramble for some hopefully meaningful amounts of lands that we can use to fight. But somehow I don't see our chances being that high for the time being. But we'll see where we can go. We'll see if we can salvage this. Let's see if we can save the name of the Spartan family. Um, the first order of business is now that we're, we've lost our connection to the Byzantine Empire and Napoleon is technically not part of the Byzantine Empire, or I think it's also because I wasn't serving under the Emperor directly when the guy I was serving lost his territory to the Arabs I lost my relationship to the Byzantine Empire, so now I'm totally independent um, I don't think I like that I think that makes me feel completely unsafe since I am one piddly little independent Greek Orthodox country surrounded by bunch of Italian Catholics and uh, currently still at war with some angry Arabs who turned out to be more than I could handle again. Um, my goal should still be to look on the divided Ireland because it seems the easiest thing to prey upon for the time being. This guy can pull out 232 soldiers. How many can I pull up? I can pull up about the same. Just a little more. Hopefully that little more will give me the edge I need to kick his ass when the time comes. And some bunch of Arabs, what's going on here? Uh, Arabs are occupying this piece of the island. King Bohemond of Sicily is taking Gurgenti. That's interesting. That is very interesting. If only this could have happened earlier. First, we will stop being independent. We will look at the Basilius Constantinos III of the Byzantine Empire and tell him, Hey guy! Wait, what? Uh, I can't swear fealty. Oh, I'm not at peace. Oh, I need to solve this war first. Let's see this going any other way anyway. Might as well do this. Shia religion will gain more authority and the orthodox religion will lose more. That's okay. I'm gonna fix that. Uh, I just lose money. I can deal with that. My council is now torn open because I've lost my court chaplain who was over there before, I guess. I'm stuck with a really poor court chaplain. Really, really, really poor court chaplain. Search this. Can't do anything. I'm gonna reassign steward here. County is to hold. My wife can keep studying technology abroad. Uh, or and I have a vassal with a negative opinion. Who's this guy? Why does he hate me? Oh, that's a temporary thing. He'll get over it. Um. I can usurp the Republic of Capua, but um, that wouldn't do me good. Who's this guy? Doge of Genoa, Doge of Capua, and he hates my face. Probably because he desires my piddly county, and he's zealous. Uh, not good, not good at all. Uh, for now, let's unpause and get the other guy to surrender. To accept my surrender. Yay. May you be soon up alive in the belly of a dead camel. Lovely. I like the imagery. But somehow... Why am I only at negative 22? Where did the money come from? I was supposed to lose like 300 gold. And I didn't have any. Hmm. I don't know. But, now that I'm not at war, 
Basilius, I will be your vassal. You must accept. We have lack of funds. So apparently it's not too, too, too bad. Yay, I am now protected by the Byzantine Empire again. Great news. The Greeks are rebelling against uh, all of that. Son Yulanos makes sure everyone gets exactly the same amount, whatever sweets to cook give to the children. Oh, he's a just kid. I am so proud of him. He's just. We need to hurry on the production of fi fake claims here. I get the feeling I'm gonna have to carve myself an empire out of Ireland. Rogue Duchy of Rashka, sure. Become Du of Rashka. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It seems that. Why are all of these lands. Greek Orthodox. Sheik Alexios. Wait, wasn't he like my best friend? Grateful. H how is he still in control of this land? What did I miss? Uh, I can be the marshal of the Byzantine Emperor. That's right. Damn right. What's going on? Why is suddenly the Empire reforging itself? Right by Kelly from here. What just happened? Isn't the Fatimid dynasty just got shrunk? going on here? Why did he suddenly lose control of, like, all of this? Greek Orthodox. You are a Greek Orthodox. But he had all these lands. Why does he no longer have them? Point at some kid here on my turf. It was highly inappropriate. But now I'm independent from this guy. Great stuff. Great, great, great stuff. Good thing I was building a castle village here. Oh, I also have another barony here. Hmm. And you know, as long as I don't have any vassals, and I have such a shortage of lands, whoever owns this thing, you, Mr. Beardface. Um... Should I wait until I change the laws first? Why can't I change them? Oh, I still have a vassal with a negative opinion of me. Negative two, however, as the long reign goes up. Castle village has been built in the Versa. Revoke these titles all you want. Seems like the Fatimid Byzantine Empire isn't holding together. Perhaps the Byzantine Empire can still recover, but I may not have Sparta. At least not for the time being. Um, okay. He's revoking count. He's revoking things. A lot of things. Sicily took this. King of Sicily is growing big. Du Iron Tree of Turnovo has founded the Lower Crown Authority and Byzantine Empire faction. Uh, primogeniture. I can't. Still looking at seniority, it seems. Eldest son with the epic beard. But I have a message that betrothed can marry. Oh, yes! Yes! Get me an alliance. Yay, I'm now married with the Princess of Poland. Oh, one of my sons. The good son, who unfortunately will not inherit anything. 
unless he decides to become not a good son and to deal with his other brother. But for the time being, i leave it at that. And I believe my first son was betrothed to someone. Shaika Alexandra of Lesbos. Shaika? Apparently she kept her county, even though, um... Well, she's a Greek Orthodox. She's here, no? Dragon Islands. Sheikdom of Lesbos. Those sad little islands here. Apparently she still has them. And I can get them by marriage. Excellent. We'll also weaken the sh wait, why is this being if I get Caliph Armor one? Get it. Oh, it seems that the Fatimid dynasty is finally falling apart. Great news, but the Seljuk Turks are even bigger. Not as great news. Can't wait for a Mongol invasion here. Uh, anything else? Child removal. My fourth son needs a guardian. I can educate him myself, son. I will show you the ways of Sparta. Lost, but not forever. We shall reclaim them from the ashes of the Fatimid Empire. For it is our birthright and our pride. In the meantime... Light armor progress in Napoli, sure. What's this looking like? Focus is still in the same place. Technology good. Come on, I need my claims on this. Work harder, my chap my chancellor. I was gonna say chaplain. No longer are we broken or broke. We men of Sparta were never broken. The situation may be dire, but we are not surrendering. What is this? Sitting on my castle. If Julianos is nowhere to be seen, you can always find him in the courtyard, playing with his sword and practicing his sword fighting with older men. Ooh, this will turn Julianos into a great knight. He can be brave, diligent, or proud. There's nothing wrong with any of those. He is now brave. Excellent. I have a brave son. I have taught him well. Honest, gregarious, brave, just diligent. That is quite quite a lad. I am so proud of him. Hmm. Too bad he won't get any power anytime soon. Hmm. What else do we have here? Because we have such a huge family, we can forge alliances in a lot of places. Perhaps even acquire claims for our family. Um. We are getting old. You are to declare a second Byzantine civil war to Loken. Well, okay, the Byzantine Empire is just some of my troops. It's acceptable. Go screw yourself, you. You damned revolting bastard. I'm blaming you for the Byzantine Empire's fall. I'm blaming you for the loss of Sparta. You are now my sworn enemy. Do Aaron three of Turnovo. I hope the Byzantine Empire kicks your ass the side is flea and takes your land. Brafton League Independence War. The Fatimid Empire is collapsing. This is so beautiful. So beautiful. The Fatimid dynasty is collapsing. Now is the time to declare war on the Fatimids. I think. Not Ioannis of Naxos. Not Alexion of, um, of Achaia. But Akaya is occupied. Oh, 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 that fixed itself. Oh, that's a shame. That was a nice slew of revolts. But what happened exactly? Hmm. 
Patience is a virtue, but sometimes it gets on my nerves. My son Alexios never loses his temper, always waiting patiently for a chance to retaliate. Normally I can abide recklessness, but uh, free prestige, which is in uh, missing intrigue, is a good thing. Mm, opinion changed by 10. Or I could make him angry. But I don't need piety right now. The Byzantine church just collapsed pretty much. Where's our religious head? Ecumenical Patriarch Athanasios I. No crusade call, of course. Moral authority is kind of. Hmm. And he still reigns from Constantinople. And my son became a Midas touched. Oh, oh wow, genius. Oh wow. I want to play as him. This is. This is nuts. He's not just well rounded, he's like all around solid. Wow. I am wowed by my own son. Son, you have surpassed me in all but beard. You will therefore marry someone, which can hopefully give us. Where's Cal? Good, inherit Cal. Hungarian in Transylvania Trondolag Trondolag still a courtier Galich which could grant me an alliance with the Grand Prince Isiaslav II of Galich a Galich alliance oh, she's homosexual Homosexual, but he's Midas touched. Oh, but the alliance with the Galich would be so good. Well, I feel bad for you, son, but I think you're gonna be marrying a gay woman. So many titles, and she'll have claims on all of them. From what I remember, he's like Gavelkind or something. When that falls through, we may be able to. If we had more power, we may be able to attack pieces of the Galich lands. Russia's looking quite nice, but Humania is huge. Still have no claims. A crusade for Jerusalem! But that's from the Catholics. The Catholics can do whatever they want. Not my problem. Uh, yay, Galich marriage. Great news. Something like shit's going down in the Byzantine Empire again. Now I have the Galich ally. Is he busy with a war? Uh, we're winning this war against him. Chief Uzur of Kuban. Why am I at war with this guy? King of Georgia is attacking him? Oh, but the Byzantine Empire is lending a hand. Of course. Okay. How about you? My newfound ally. You're not at war. You like me quite a lot. And I am fairly certain that you don't like the Fatimids. Let's see if we can strike a coup. How many soldiers can you muster, mister? About 2,200 troops. That's not a doom stack. And the Fatimids just reunited. There's revolts. I don't think I'm able to um, push that claim. 
However, I may be able to claim the other half of Genoa. Off of Genoa with the help of the Galage. My son Alexios is turning into an arrogant little braggart. I may have to rein him in a little. Like my, what, my fourth son? Oh, he can be proud. Even though we only have a piddly piece of land, he's a Spartan man, so he can be proud. By his default. It's like his birthright is being proud. I miss money. I miss the money I gained from being a Spartan. Still towards a ton of people, but you're attacking this for Naxosian Independence League. Kinda wanna help these guys. Not that I think they can win their independence, but uh Oh wow, the Seljuk Turks are also becoming a gigantic stack of debt. A group of robbers calling themselves the Bad Brothers have been brought before me. The longest of all their crimes does not put them in good light. Uh I could throw prestige away and choose not to care about those piddly thieves. Or, uh, or tell them to pay amendment, which will make two people like me. Well, diplomacy. They will pay amendment in the name of my friendship. Those bandits aren't important. Betrothed can marry. My daughter can be married to the Duke Constantinos of Adrianopolis. Uh, do I want that, though? I still want that. Oh, he's heir to the Byzantine Empire. This will give me an alliance with... Uh, With something here. Yeah, I get a met. I get a uh, alliance with the Duke Constantinos of Adrianopolis. Where's Adrianopolis? Can I find Adrianopolis if I look hard enough? Is it over here somewhere? Adrianopolis. Oh, it's currently in Arab lands. You know what? I don't want this alliance anymore. It will make him hate me more. He's heir to the Byzantine Empire. Defending against the Duke, and he's. But where's his land? The Jere is this, which are both sheikdoms. But he himself owns the county of Vidin, which is that piddly land there. Oh, so he's still on our side. So yeah, I will go through with this betrothal. And I'll have an alliance with the big boss of the Byzantine Empire. He accepts the offer. So when uh, this guy croaks, I'll have an alliance with the Basilius. We're doing whatever we want. Uh, council, I can redirect my marshal to increase here. My bright sun. Wait, now that I think about it, can I change the laws? Yes! Succession by seniority. I've pissed off all of my other sons. But that's okay. My hair will now inherit everything, which is one thing. And, now that I no longer need my vassals to like me, you! You will give me your barony. You will 
will take your bear knee. Oh, he's revolting. Let's call up on our allies. Let's see if we can do something. Oh, I don't have anything because... No? What about the other one? Oh, I don't have any allies. Oh, that sucks. Hmm. That's a problem. However, he can't take my thing either. He is now my new steward. Also, quick, son, we need money. Gather money so we can buy mercenaries and claim this barony for ourselves. Yay. Challenge you to a friendly game of Tsikhanion. The Tsikhanion is still studying in Turkey. This popular Byzantine game can trace its origins back to Sassanid Persia. Features two teams on horseback using sticks with nets to get a letter ball into the opposing team's goals. Will you accept the challenge? Of course I will get the old team together. We had a team. We spent a wonderful afternoon at the, at the Tsikhanisterion, playing a tense game of Tsikhanion that ends in victory for your team. Your opponent and his team are magnanimous in defeat in the part of the stadium's friends. We must do this again sometime. I'm prestigious and more friendly with this guy. Excellent, whoever this guy is. I need more allies, though. Can't even deal with my own baron. How much would mercenaries cost us? Birds of the assassins. These hissish smokers are harmless. Of course, they're harmless. Mm. The smallest mercenary band would cost seventy-five dollars. Need more money. War's not going anywhere. I'm pretty sure all of my other vassals now hate my guts for real, yeah. Well, this guy just hates me because of other things. Oh, revoked vassal titles, yeah. Declared holy war on Count, Vo Count Volodar of Korchev. Where's Korchev? Over here, who's Korcha? Also, where are the assassins? Where are the hashish smokers? Should be bringing up some turmoil. Huh. Things are going on here. Nothing in our favor yet. We need to build more funds. Alright. We'll see what we can do about this next time. But fortunately, we have escaped death for the time being.